I moved uh, downtown, I always kept seeing this beautiful woman, but like always with the, the weirdest things. She's wearing like a beautiful sundress, and then she's got like a, a prosthetic leg or something, you know, and a coffee. Or then you see her again and suddenly she's got like a huge vat of fake blood, you know, and she's like, hi. And she'll like run down the street in the rain and she'll like skin up her knees and blood will get everywhere. and. She's all got blood all over, and that's her look. And actually, that's why we call her Blood Bath McGrath. Stays me and you will see, cause I do you wrong. More than you've ever dreamed of, I do you wrong. We managed to scrape up enough money and get our first loft together in downtown LA. Liz started like collecting trash and stuff and like building stuff to make the place cool. She had found this old vanity and she just like got out her chainsaw and just started cutting it into pieces and then like putting it back together. She made the most amazing bar out of nothing. I saw her art and I was really impressed. It just had like all these things I like in the art, like it, it, she used insects or ants and it had this whole theme and then it had some macabre quality where the ants were maybe chopping up people and, and it was all in a little Joseph Cornell style box. And so, man, it just had everything I liked in it. Greg Escalani says, take notice of this gal. So I made a point of investigating Liz. And Liz, uh, <clears throat> Liz had that bohemian touch that is akin to uh, a freedom that goes way back in time. to say Liz is a dark person because she can't stop smiling but obviously when you see her work <laughs> it shocks you it's not 2d it's 3d I don't think anybody realized that Liz actually had a singing voice until she started doing Miss Derringer and bitch can sing she's a convicted felon for stealing cheese in a bear suit Liz, everybody loves Liz. As soon as you look at Liz's work, I think, you start to realize that she's a, a real visionary. Mm -hmm. 